It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For this video, I'm gonna talk about three stories about The Last of Us Part 2. Now, don't worry guys, I am not gonna spoil the leaks or anything like that. I'm just gonna talk about three stories that I found to be funny. Now, before I talk about the stories, I first wanna state that more recently, thanks to the Minneapolis riots, there was like a firefighter who lost his business because of the riots. And so, in a link in the description down below, I'm gonna give you guys like the GoFundMe page to actually help out the fire fire. I myself donated money towards that cause. And so hopefully you guys can also donate money to that guy because I don't think it's fair for people to lose their businesses for this kind of stuff. And so without further ado, let's begin the video. We know for a fact that Naughty Dog seemed to not catch a break at all when it comes down to The Last of Us Part 2. And matter of fact, we know for a fact that they treat their employees like dog shit. We know for a fact that, of course, a lot of the controversy about the leaks were super terrible. We know for a fact that Sony is actually DMCAing people for talking about the leaks. Not showing pictures, but just talking about the leaks. They also been, of course, DMCAing people for creating memes about the leaks. And so when it comes down to the abuse of power, we know for a fact that Naughty Dog and Sony is not to be trusted. However, it's so pathetic that they're trying to sell the most basic gameplay mechanics in regards to this game. Of course, I'm talking about the infamous jump button. The Last of Us Part 2 features new gameplay mechanics like the dedicated jump button to put players in Ellie's shoes. I'm sorry Naughty Dog, but consider me not impressed. And the main reason why I'm not impressed is because since the early 90s, since I started playing video games for the first time, there has always, always been a jump button. I know for a fact that one of the first games I've ever played was Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo Entertainment System. And of course, when you play as Mario, you have the options to jump across the mushrooms and the other forms of enemies in that game. And of course, earlier Atari 2600 games also feature a jump button. So, this feature has been there for a really long time. This is not anything new for gaming because almost all games nowadays have a jump button. So, sorry, I'm not that all impressed at that feature. But of course, there's like another feature that I found to be funny that they actually considered to be a really cool feature for that game. Ellie can use rope or cables to swing to hard to reach locations. See more of The Last of Us Part 2 gameplay. Again, consider me not impressed. Now, the whole entire idea of using a rope or like a branch to swing back and forth in a video game, again, is not anything new. This feature has been around since the freaking Atari 2600 with a game that was called Pitfall. And of course, like, there's been tons and ton of games from Naughty Dog that actually had that feature. For example, the Uncharted series actually had that whole entire feature. And also, going back to that jump mechanic feature, again, even by Naughty Dog standards, that's like nothing, anything new. Because for Crash Bandicoot, as well as Jack and Dexter, and Uncharted, you can also jump in those Naughty Dog games. So even by Naughty Dog standards, the jumping mechanics, the swinging mechanics, are nothing, anything new. The final story I want to cover is obviously the Middle East, where The Last of Us Part II was also banned in that place. Now, I'm not surprised about that ban because it seems as though whenever companies want to be super progressive and want to make products, they tend to ban stuff 
or alter stuff no matter the circumstances. We know for a fact for like the Chinese release for Star Wars, they actually removed the black character for some strange reason, which is like the most racist thing I could possibly think of. We know for a fact that of course, like for some movies, like the other Star Wars movies, which had like a gay character, Disney also removed the character for the Chinese version. So it seems as though that they always, always freaking remove stuff when it comes down to international markets for sensibility reasons. One thing that we're taught all the time is that all cultures are equal. Now you guys already know at this point that I'm socially liberal on my leanings in this channel. However, I honestly do not believe this concept of cultural relativism because I honestly think that there are actually cultures that are better than others. That is not to say that you should not treat someone, of course, differently because they're from a different background. You should treat them like as human beings, right? However, some cultures, I think, are better than other ones. Take, for example, like United States culture. I know for a fact that my culture has it way better in terms of like the human rights issues and also like, you know, progressive stuff, ideas, than somewhere like in the Middle East. Like we know for a fact that places like in China or the Middle East do not have human rights at all for gay people, for women, for these other religious minority groups. They have no free speech, they have no free press, and so I think, of course, that my culture is better than that kind of culture, for sure. That's talking about objectively speaking. This is not like my own personal opinion. I know for a fact that objectively speaking, that there's like a lot of aspects that United States of America is way better than some other cultures like in the Middle East or whatever. But I feel as though that the fact that these corporations want to be super progressive about their movies, yet for some strange reason want to censor it because of cultural sensibility, I find it hilarious. I find it hilarious because what it tells me right here is that they care more about the money, the dinero that they want to have from these movies than their actual so-called values that they want to put into the movies. But what do you guys think about these stories? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. I'm sorry, Naughty Dog. But consider me not impressed. I'm not impressed at the fact that this upcoming game would have a jump button. Because this feature has been around as long as have I been a gamer. Like I was a gamer since like the late 90s, right? I was first, oh my god. What in the world is going on right here? Stop going down camera. Why are you always freaking go down camera? Okay, stand right here. Stand right here. Okay, oh no, here we go again with the camera stuff.